What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a video going over how to style dad shoes. Now, I know what you might be asking yourself, who wanted to see this video? And I am using the classic dad shoe and that is the Air Monarch. Now the Air Monarch is going to be the cheapest option of the dad shoes because a lot of different very expensive designers have taken inspiration, I believe, from this exact shoe right here. Now, this is the shoe that you see from the, uh, let's say 40 to 50 year old man who's got cargo shorts on. He's got, you know, like a white t-shirt or something. Just the dad outfit. You see him at the store. This is their go-to. It's 65 bucks. Great deal for them. They go to the mall like, dang, 65 bucks for a pair of shoes? Bet, let's go. So as you watch this overlay clip, you'll see, this is a shoe that I actually used for a video where I let Instagram pick my outfit. And if you saw that video, you had a couple different options and you guys picked this one to embarrass me. Now what I'm doing today is showing you how to style them. This is the cheapest option, like I said, but with these different designers, this is the same general idea of a shoe because the reason it is the dad shoe and the big kind of inspiration and like creation around it for the fashion and streetwear is the oversized look, I would say, and the simplicity of it. Now I say simplicity, but then you look at like the Balenciagas and they're kind of crazy. Now I was thinking, you know, why don't I go ahead and buy a pair of the Balenciagas for video? Or why don't I go ahead and buy a pair of the Yeezy Wave Runners for video? But then I thought like, I don't need to go ahead and pay $800 for a pair of shoes. Both are like 800 something dollars. Why do I need to do that when I've got the All-Star Classic, what all these were originated from right in front of me? So the Dad Air Monarchs, they're, they're kind of crazy. And when I put them on, I actually went with a size 11 and a half because they didn't have my actual size. Now they actually have different colorways. So if you want to get a little bit, you know, out there with what you're wearing, you can go ahead and grab a pair in the black and red colorway. But the funny thing is now, all jokes aside, this is actually a shoe I have seen people style. I saw somebody at the mall the other day. He was wearing, you know, I think like a Supreme CDG t-shirt. He's wearing a little bit of crop pants and he had a pair of these on. Now, I don't know if it's like the troll fashion thing where you're like, you know, I can pull off anything. It inspired me to make a video from it. So how to style the Air Monarchs. Now what we're gonna do, I've got a denim station right back there. And denim station, pant station, whatever you wanna call it, pant platoon. It's back over there and I wanna take you guys over there and hopefully the lighting is a little bit okay over there because it's kinda dark and show you different pants that you can wear and kind of talk about my general consensus around wearing them. Now with these how to style videos, this is all kind of just like my opinions and this one is kind of, you know, I don't know if many of you are gonna be going out and buying the dad shoe, but I just think it is a good idea in general just to show you my opinions on something as crazy as this because this is not like a new colorway or shoe. This shoe has been out for so long and it is literally, I have family friends that just, this was their go-to and it's making it into one of my videos, which is nuts. Two videos now, two videos now. Let's go ahead, let's transition over to the denim station. I don't know if you guys are liking these cinematics. Should we do some more cinematics just to even head back over there? Why not? Like, let's go ahead, let's start bringing the bars down and let's just head into some music and cinematics. Let's go. Okay guys, we made it over to the pants station. The lighting over there was so much more bomb, but hey, I wanna be able to show you guys this stuff in a different spot. I got all the different pants here. Now, this is where it might become jokes, is that I've got all these different pairs of pants that I wanna put on with the shoes, just so you guys can get a feel of you know what we're looking like. So we're gonna go through a few different types of pants that we're gonna use for this. We got some crop pants. Now these crop pants are a little bit different for this style of shoe because I don't know how it's gonna look. Now I would think that most shoes like Balenciaga's, the huge Balenciaga dad shoes, those ones, I've seen people wear them a bunch of different ways. I've seen people wear them with zipper denim and different things like that. Now we've got some track pants, we've got some track sweatpants, and we got just the general feel. And then the one that I wanna see, this is just like the crazy pant from Hyper Denim, is like this with the Air Monarchs. We gotta see. We gotta see how it's gonna look. So I gotta decide if you guys would like to see more of me wearing the shoes and talking under it or music. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have the clips on the screen showing you me wearing them. Now I'm only gonna have one of the pairs on while I'm sitting here, but you'll get the gist of why because I've had them on. These are like a little bit of an intense crop pant and uh, this, this, is, this is a little ridiculous. The white is just so like, so bright. So we've got the three different pants on as you could probably see above me right now. 
both of them are prettily, uh, prettily, aggressively cropped. Now, the ones with the stripe down the side, I would say is the most intensely cropped. And overall look is, I feel like it is more of the vibe that I've seen in a lot of female streetwear wearers. Who have worn shoes like the Balenciaga dad shoes or the Gucci dad shoes. There's so many different dad shoes and this is just kind of that vibe that I'm getting. I feel like the crop pant would be a little bit better with a shoe like the Calabasas because it's a simple silhouette. This silhouette is just a little bit more aggressive when it comes to that. Next up are the different track pants. Now there's only two options for this, the sweat track pants and then the actual denim track pants. Denim one's from Minimal, the other one's from HFLA. I think this is the closest to a look that I would feel the most comfortable in because it is somewhat more of a skinnier look specifically on the minimal denim because it's not super skinny and it tapers nicely but it also doesn't look like because it feels too skinny I feel like it would make the shoe look out of proportion which it probably still does because it is a half size up but it's still overall a puffy shoe. Now with the sweatpants that is a nice cozy vibe but in general I like the overall look with the skinnier pant the track vibe because it throws in a little bit of that flare in there just in my opinion. Lastly, other pants up from Hyperdenim, and I would say that this is the most aggressive when it comes to the fear of God, distressed denim look because of the paint splatter and the grady. Now this is a pant that I probably wouldn't wear on a regular basis, but I thought I'd throw it in here to show you guys kind of the most aggressive end of things. And I don't think it, I, I, it's too much. The, the pant, it's, it's just too much for me. Too much going on down there and the color gradient. But I do think that overall, the other colorway would be the easier one to style. Now, for being 100% honest, I don't see this as the most ideal of a shoe to use and to wear in the realm of clothing that I wear. I thought it was very funny to go ahead and throw them on, though, in different situations. When Blazendary was here, I went ahead and threw them on, and I was just like, I don't care to wear them. They're funny to wear, and I just like seeing people's reaction to that kind of shoe because they all know that classic silhouette. Also, not gonna lie, I went and tried on the Gucci dad shoes, and I actually considered buying them. They're a new one that they have. It's very bulky and it has Gucci on the side. It was too much for me. Too bulky, way too heavy, and a weird design. If you're in that high fashion life and you can afford it, do it. But for me, in my particular instance, I just felt that it was a little bit too much. Now, these shoes I feel like are a little bit too much, but I hope in some aspect of this, I could help you with maybe styling if you're looking to get something type of a shoe that is a little bit bulkier. Now, of course, this is mainly the pants because the top you can correlate as far as with your shirts, you can do the colors and different things like that. But for this, I feel like the pants are more important because you're styling everything around the shoe. If you get a shoe, let's say you have a Yeezy and you put on a super bootcut pant, then you know it's not gonna be styled as good as you think. Now, you guys might've seen it back there, but I didn't talk about it. The Janko jeans that I had on with the Air Monarchs might be so fire that I have to wear that one day. If this video gets 20,000 likes, I'll go ahead and wear those in public and do a video. But now let's go ahead and cut into the outfit of the day because I just forgot to do it and uh, I guess it might be a little bit too late now, but why not? All right, we made it outside for today's outfit rundown. Now, I'm wearing the Sire hoodie. This is Jaden Smith's Misfits Rep brand. It's a little bit small, to be honest. It looks good when I'm like wearing it, but like if I try to do anything, like it's too small. You can see my underwear. And these pants are a little bit, you know, short too. Pants are for minimal. They're gray denim. I like them. The only thing I don't like about them is the zipper denim because they're a little skinny down by the ankles. And if it wasn't a zipper denim, I feel like they could have made it a little bit wider. But this is a gray denim that I like to wear. Then we have the Ian Connor Revenge Storm Red. They're kind of like Vans Old Schools. They try to be like Vans Old Schools. That's just, that's how it is. $210 retail. Got him at ComplexCon, but that is the outfit underneath. I'm just wearing like just a random white t-shirt because can't wear much under this because if I do, it'll pop out. If you wanna pick up a pair of Air Monarchs, you can do it down below. And if you have missed the previous videos, guys, I'm telling you, the last few videos have been so far. 60 second outfit challenge versus Blazing Dairy. That was so much fun. And I wanna do it with a bunch of different YouTubers around the area, maybe that in the future. I got so many ideas coming. I'm not having a particular posting schedule like I had been doing the Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. I'm aiming for that schedule, but I felt too pressured in making those videos and putting them out then to where I felt like I wasn't creating the content to the fullest that I could. Like today, this might go up tonight if I can get it out, but I don't wanna rush it too much and rush the content and my videos behind it. If you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button. If you wanna see more content, I have a lot of stuff coming up. Like I said, a lot of ideas on the works. They just take time to you know, get across because stuff takes time to get in. And you know, I can only go to the mall so many times and buy stuff from there. You gotta go ahead and you know, get some stuff from online because that's where a lot of you guys can get some stuff. Okay, I'm not gonna try to do too much more self-promotion, but thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like down below if you did enjoy, and I will see you guys next time. This is Harrison, signing out.